Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, blessed be, be God's kingdom, kingdom now and, and forever. Amen. Now, the Lord be with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Let us hear the baptism's call and promise. There was one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of us all. And by, and by one Spirit we were baptized into one body and were made to drink of one Spirit. All of us have been baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. So that just as Christ, Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is always and everywhere right to give thanks and praise. Today we thank you for water invented by no mind, water with no hands, habitat of embryos, home to plants and creatures, primal link with the beginning, gift of God, ancient of cleansing, source of energy, transformer of deserts, satisfaction of thirst, recreation to be enjoyed. One substance, many uses. We give you particular thanks, O God, as we recall your redemption by water. O Lord, the spirit of reverent and creation, your righteous servant Noah and his family survived in it the ark. Through it, your people passed in deliverance from slavery. You gave them water from the rock in the desert. Through it, your people walked again into the promised land. In it, the foreigner Naaman was cleansed of leprosy. By it, Jesus was safeguarded in Mary's womb. In it, your son Jesus was baptized and by it declared solidarity with sinners. At his crucifixion, blood and water came forth in sacrifice for humankind. At his resurrection, he was made alive for our justification. Just prior to his ascension, he commanded us, saying, All authority in heaven and on earth have been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Now we'll see. Uh, five times. Water of life, Jesus of life, journey from death to new life. Water of life, Jesus of life, journey from death to new life. Water of life. Jesus of light, journey from death to new life. Water of light, Jesus of light, journey from death to new life. Water of light, Jesus of light, journey from death to new life. Let us pray. O God, let your spirit hover over this water as that creation of the same spirit came over Jesus Christ and his baptism. So let the spirit come now, making this a washing with water by the word, the sign of the new covenant, our habitat in Christ, crucified and risen, our bonding in water with brothers and sisters in Christ, our solidarity with those in whom he is solidarity, and our commissioning to serve Jesus' his name. Amen. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, as God called and chose his servant, people Israel, and made covenant with them, saying, I will be your God and you will be my people. So in the fullness of time, God called and chose Jesus Christ to fulfill this covenant for all. Through his birth, life, death, and resurrection, God made a new covenant of grace, whereby we say, I am yours and the people you have given me. Today we come to claim the promises of that new covenant, rejoicing that our Savior Jesus Christ instituted baptism as a visible sign of covenant making, our washing with water by the word, our habitat in Christ, crucified and risen, our bonding in water with brothers and sisters in Christ, our solidarity with those with whom he is in solidarity, and our commissioning to serve in Jesus' name. Let us hear Baptism's promise and call, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Who presents, or who is being presented for baptism? Ella, come on up. Just stand over here. Ella, I have some questions for you. Affirmation of your faith in Jesus Christ. And you will answer first, I will, and then I do. Oh, first, I actually, I guess, your parents. <laughs> Chris and Elaine, will you continue to walk with Ella in this new life in Christ and in the fellowship of the church? If so, say, with God's help, we will. With, with God's, God's help, help, we, we will. will. And now, Ella, you answer these questions saying, I do. And you see your affirmation of your faith in Jesus Christ. Ella, do you desire to be baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? I do. Proclaiming this covenant with Jesus Christ, do you renounce the powers of evil and declare your opposition to a way of life in contradiction to the gospel? I do. Do you repent of your sins, confessing Christ as your Savior and Lord, and living as his faithful disciple? Yes, I do. Will you devote yourself to the Apostles' teaching? To fellowship, to the breaking of the bread, and to prayer. And you say, I will. Now you say, I will. To this. Empowered by the Holy Spirit, will you do all in your power to participate fully in the life of the church, to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God? God, our Creator and Redeemer, you've called us from death to new life. We thank you for saving, for your saving love in Jesus Christ our Lord, for the sacrament of grace and what it means to the church. As we baptize with water, baptize with the Holy Spirit. As we speak, let it be your word. And as we act, let us do your work in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. All right, come on out. Got to get you out far enough here. How about here? Is this good? Ella, upon your confession of faith in Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, I baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Come here. The Lord uphold Ella by your Holy Spirit. Give her the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord the spirit of joy in your presence, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. Ella is now received into the fellowship of the Christian church. Through the covenant of grace, God has made her a member of the household of God. With joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you into this community of faith to share with us in Christ's ministry. For we are one in Christ. You are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people belonging to God, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. 
Once you were not a people, but now you are the people of God. Once you had not received mercy, but now you have received mercy. Go enjoy and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.